Our whole purpose, our core purpose, is to keep the pulse of the planet, take the measurements, collect the data that characterize this Earth we live on. Maps and GIS are getting better. They're becoming richer and smarter and more powerful. We collected years of data that we'd poured our heart and soul into, and now for the first time made it available in one seamless system. What's amazing about the GIS platform is not just all the data that it can aggregate, but its ability to display that. The people on the ground, they need the tools so that problems can be solved. You're looking at what's happening now, not what happened 12 hours ago. And this is the new way of governing. Not about excuses, not about moving left or moving right. It's about moving forward. It's about getting things done. Within seconds, within minutes, we can have consensus on what it takes to control and finish this disease. That shows the power of GIS. We can still save the biodiversity. We can still help the local people to keep their culture, keep their existence, and we can still make this place a better world. We're going to have to make some really tough decisions on this planet. And it would be so much better if those decisions could be based on scientific knowledge. Every action we do has an impact on the world around us, and we have a choice as to what sort of impact we want to make. The concept of GIS brings us closer to an age in which it is possible to adjust our philosophies and our lives to existence on this planet as it really is. First, we must get on with the mapping of the world.